Hi, I'm Ernie Zor for Pure to Spring Software, and I'm going to show you how to set up your Pure to Springs application so that you can save client files on a network drive where they can be shared with other users in the office and backed up automatically. I'll be using our child support app for this video, but the technique is essentially the same for all of our apps. So you should be able to follow along regardless of which one you're using. Also, you may be interested to know that many mainstream applications have this same function, so I know that you can do the same thing with Microsoft Word, for example, but you probably will need to dig around in the Options dialog and look for the proper uh, parameter to set. Now, assuming the application is installed right out of the box, so to speak, and you haven't changed any of the installation parameters, in other words, you've accepted all the default settings during installation. The configuration process is essentially a two-step procedure. The first is to copy the Puritus folder to the server. I'm going to do that in a moment, but before I do, I want to make a few comments. The first thing I want to say is there are two Puritus folders created during installation. One is the program, one is in the program files folder. That's the one you want to leave alone. Just to show you which one I want you to leave alone, I'm going to use Windows Explorer which I think is now called File Explorer in Windows 10, and I'll, I'll show you where that, where that folder is at. I clicked on uh, my computer, and now I'm going to double-click on the C drive, and now I'll double-click on Program Files, and there it is in alphabetical order. That's the one you want to leave alone. The other one is in the root directory of the C drive, and that one contains, or will contain, all of your client files. I'll show you that one by going back to the C drive, and I really don't have to go any farther than that because it's two clicks below the program files folder. There it is, Puritus. Ah, the second thing I wanted to say is that if you have more than one Puritus Spring application, all of the applications save their client files in a subfolder of the same Puritus folder. Therefore, copying the Puritus folder to the server like we're going to do at that time we're configuring all the peer to springs app at the same all the peer to springs apps at the same time and finally it's important to copy the peer to folder and not to move it that's because there are a number of temporary files that the apps store there and they don't belong on the server and you don't need to waste server resources by saving and erasing temporary files on the server so copy the peer to folder don't move it and don't forget the standard advice if you're not sure what you're doing don't do it. Therefore, if you don't know the difference between copying and moving, get someone else to help you do that step. Okay, now I'll show you how to do it using a cool little trick I recently learned. I don't know how long the function's been in Windows, but I really found out about it not that long ago, and I found it to be really handy. Watch carefully. In order to have a common starting point, I've already got this window up on the screen here, and uh, I will go to the my computer again, though, um, you know, it's, it's called computer, and then it was called my computer, and then it's, now it's called this PC. But anyway, you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to go to that window, and uh, now I've got two windows open. And, and what I'll do is, um, uh, let's see, the second one, okay, is going to be the destination server. And by the way, note that I created a mapped letter for the destination share. You likely will already have a letter of your own, and if you don't, it's not the purpose of this short video to show you how to map a share because that can get a little complicated and, and maybe that can be done in another video. Anyway, back to the trick. If I click on the title bar of a window and I drag it to the side of the screen, it will expand automatically to fill half the screen. Pretty cool. If I drag the second window to the opposite side, it will take up the other half, giving you a nice side-by-side -side left to right work area. Now I can I, I can do this by dragging but what I'll do is I'm gonna right click on the Puritus folder and I'm gonna select copy and I'm gonna go to the P drive that I set up and I'm gonna right click and select paste. I don't think I put much in there so it shouldn't take but, but a couple seconds. There we go. Now before I move on to step two I should point out that one of the reasons for copying the Puritus folder is to make sure that the new location on the server has the default file in it, which was initially installed in the Puritus folder. If you want to know more about the default file and what it does, see the related YouTube video. Okay, the second step is to let the application know where you're going to be storing the client files. That's the location we just created in step one. 
I'll start the child support application and actually you may have noticed that I already had it running and minimized on the tax bar. It doesn't make any difference. Um, anyway, I'm going to go to the options menu. I'm going to select default locations and then select the R10 item. And right now it's set to its default area on the C drive. So what we're going to do is we're going to set it to the server. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go on the left side and I'm going to find and click on the computer item and then I'm going to click on the P drive double click on it I guess and that's the mapped server share that we created now I can double click on the Pyridus folder and then the ROCSG10 folder and then the files folder and now I click on select folder or the OK button select folder Believe it or not, that's it. Now, every time I open or save in the child support application, it's going to go to the server. I'll click open to show you. And there it is. There's all, there's all our files that we moved um, to, the, uh, to the server. In summary, this technique works for any Puritus app. If we were working with basic Ohio probate forms, we would have been setting the BP-8 folder location. The key to knowing which item to set is simply by paying attention to the client file extension. So with the child support, it's R10. With the probate, the basic Ohio probate program, it's BP-8. Deed Pro, for example, is DP-6. You get it. That's it. Hey, I think there's some very useful and valuable information in this video, and I'm glad to be able to provide it to you. So thanks for watching, and have a great day.